So hey there everyone, as always, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few. My name is Rich, and today we're going to jump right into it. This channel does a lot about drones and building your own small drone business. And since we're coming up on the end of 2022 and going into 2023, I thought I would share a couple of different videos about the software and hardware that we use here at AZ Drone. So today we're talking about the top five web apps that I use on an extremely regular basis. And these, these, are, part of, uh, these are part of my overall uh, workflow and process that we have here at AZ Drone. So the number one web application we use is actually WordPress and that's our website hosting. And this is where we have azdrone.net. We also have our seemybuild.com where we do custom deliverable web pages and custom deliverable content for our clients in an easy to use website interface. So this is probably my number one. Every single day I've got one of these websites up. I'm doing either work on my main business site or I'm doing work for clients on the See My Build interactive site here. So there's our number one, WordPress and the things that I develop on it. Number two, this is used regularly as well. This is Air Data UAV. So uh, this is from airdata.com. I signed up with them when I first started uh, doing drone work when I got my commercial part 107 um, back in 2017. These were one of the first places that I signed up with and was happy to give my money to them. I can track my flights, my logs, and one of the big things that I like to track that I've got here on screen for you right now is my batteries and my battery health. So uh, several years ago, I had some pretty big issues with a batch of Mavic 2 Pro batteries. And one of the things that um, one of the things that pointed that out to me was Air Data. So this has been a fantastic website, and they do have different pricing plans. By the way, in these videos, I'm not doing referrals for anyone. Um, we're not working on behalf of anyone. So um, these are all my unbiased opinions of what works for us. Now we're planning uh, flight missions often. So one of the other web apps that we're using, number three in our list of five is the Litchi Mission Hub. I find myself setting up a lot of information here, planning flight plans. Let's go down to missions really quick. And I'm not kidding here when I say that this is used regularly for us. So these are all saved flight missions that I reuse over and over again. And most of these are still active. I do archive my old missions uh, because all of these missions also show up on my mobile app. So I've got the Litchi mobile app on my iPhones and iPads, and this is all synchronized with them. So when I go out to the field, I have all of these waypoint missions with me. So actually, let's just go ahead and pick one from one of the new um, one of the new projects we're working on. So this is just a mapped out video path. And I actually used another desktop application, which we'll be talking about on another video called QGIS to help me lay some of these out. And other uh, other flights we actually laid out in the field using the app. But so I find myself in the Litchi Mission Hub constantly every single week. The next web application that gets used a lot here at AZ Drone is Kula. So Kula is a 360 degree image viewing setup where you can do virtual tours. Uh, you can display single uh, 360 images. There's a lot of tools and a lot of, uh, a lot of interesting fun here. Our clients aren't always just looking for mapping and modeling, by the way. Oftentimes their clients are looking for standard imaging, interior imaging, exterior. Sometimes they're just not looking for drone work at all, but we do uh, 360 degree virtual tours with the drone as well as with a couple of uh, terrestrial cameras. So we use Canon 7D Mark II with an eight millimeter fisheye lens. And we also use the Ricoh Theta Z1. So this is used often as a lot of our clients do like having 360 tours through their projects. Now, number five is royalty mu uh, free music from Soundstripe. There are a ton of royalty free music sites out there. So it's up to you who you're gonna use. I signed up with Soundstripe a couple of years ago. I really do like their selection. They give me a lot of choices. They also help you to make sure that you don't get copyright strikes on YouTube. So the, um, the tools that they offer make sure that YouTube knows right away that this is a legitimate um, licensed music track that we got from Soundstripe. 
And so we've seen those uh, the numbers of people trying to copyright claim us just drop massively after signing up with Soundstripe a couple of years ago. So there's my top five. And so we're adding one more in here. Um, so now it's our top six. But this is the Yavapai County Interactive Map. We use the Yavapai County parcel map on a regular basis. Whenever we get contacts from potential new clients, we always ask them about the street address and the parcel numbers, if they could possibly give those to us so that we could do some pre-planning before we start talking about different types of missions, price quotes, etc. So when I get a new client call, usually I'll get a couple of questions in, ask them, you know, where is this location? I'll do some research on the location. And then we can take some of the information, the GPS information, and put it into one of the desktop applications that we'll be talking about in another video called QGIS. So we utilize the Yavapai County Interactive Map on a very regular basis, and that ties into some of our desktop applications as well. So these are the top six instead of five web applications that we use on a regular basis, and they're web applications that I enjoy using, and they really do bring a lot of power to help me move through my business process on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. I hope you found this one informative, and if you've got any questions or suggestions, please put them down in the comments below. If you've got some other favorite web apps that help you with your drone business, we'd love to hear about them. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you all again in the really near future with our top five desktop applications that we use in our drone business.